As many of you guys know, I have been a orthodontic assistant for seven years and I just recently been, went back to work um, a few weeks ago. Well, it's probably been, it'll be six weeks ago um, after taking a four year break. And so today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I became a orthodontic assistant. Um, I know a lot of people have different stories of how they got started and why they love it. And so I'm just gonna tell my story. Well, I was about 18 and I needed braces. I had a really bad overbite, really bad overjet. My teeth were just awful. My arch was really narrow. And if you hear that in the background, that's my dog, Ava. My teeth were really narrow and I just really needed braces really bad. So I ended up getting braces at 18 and my orthodontist will call him Dr. Teacher. <laughs> and I'm going to explain why I call him that. Um, my orthodontist at the time um, was really nice and I just needed a lot of work done. So I want to say maybe... Maybe like six months into it, I became really fascinated um, with how my teeth looked, the progress I was making. And so I went in one day to my orthodontic appointment and I just asked the orthodontist, um, Dr. Teacher, um, if I could volunteer because I was just so fascinated um, with what the assistants were doing, um, and just everything about it. And he said, yeah, sure. So I came in. Um, I watched the assistants work. I helped clean. Um, I did sterilization. I learned about sterilization of cleaning the instruments. I did trash. And so I would just come in when I wasn't in school and just volunteer. I wasn't getting paid or anything like that. And I was just learning. And I fell in love with it. And so I decided instead of doing regular community college, I was going to do a technical school. And I went to this technical school for dental assisting while I was still volunteering at the doctor's office, at the orthodontist office. And um, before I finished my dental assisting program, Dr. Teacher <laughs> gave me a job. And at the time, like I said, I was doing community college. I stopped doing that um, so I could do dental assisting school. I was working at Chick-fil-A. Um, and before I finished the dental assisting program, Dr. Teacher gave me a job. And I was excited. I was excited about it um, because I you have to do like an externship through the dental assisting program that I went through. And so I was already volunteering at the orthodontist. So it helped kind of like with my externship. It was kind of like the best of both worlds. And so once um, the orthodontist offered me a job, I definitely took it. So I was still working at Chick-fil-A and I was working at the orthodontist office and um, I was working at the orthodontist office part-time. And then I wanna say maybe like a few months later, he offered me a, um, oops, my hands are ashy. <laughs> he offered me a full-time position and I loved it. Like, as soon as he offered me the full-time position, I stopped working at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and I worked with Dr. Teacher for three years. And the reason I call him Dr. Teacher and um, why he's one of the best doctors I've ever worked for is because he taught me everything I know. He taught me the basics. He taught me what to look for. He 
explained everything. Um, that's why I call him Dr. Teacher because he liked to explain to me why we were doing certain things, why did, um, you know, why the certain steps, we did certain steps, um, and just pretty much got my mind going. And, you know, I fell in love with orthodontics, you know? And I'm so grateful to him, um, the orthodontist I work for, Dr. Teacher, because till this day, like even though, you know, I'm at a new practice now, I understand what's going on. Um, like the doctor may say something and I know why we're doing it, you know, and not all orthodontists are like that. Um, and so I worked with uh, Dr. Teacher for three years. And unfortunately, um, I worked with him up until he passed away. And, you know, that really broke my heart because it was like my first real job, um, working with patients, learning everything. And I didn't know if I was going to continue doing, being an assistant, you know. And before Dr. Teacher passed away, he had said to me, Mia, wherever you go, you're going to be one of the best orthodontic assistants that ever walked out of my practice. And so I still hold that close to my heart because he told me I was good. He told me that, you know, I was going to be successful and that, you know, I just, I had this thing about me, you know? And so I've always carried that with me. Unfortunately, once he passed away, another, you know, orthodontist took over and I'll, I'll have to go into a, a story time about that doctor. We'll call him Dr. Mean, Dr. Arrogant, Dr. Um, <laughs> throw Instruments, <laughs> Dr. Rude. You know, I got so many names for this, this particular orthodontist. Um, and he wasn't, uh, the, the orthodontist that took over um, for Dr. Teacher was not a very nice doctor. So I didn't last long there. I maybe worked a few months with him and then homegirl was out. Um, but that's basically how I became a orthodontic assistant. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time of how I became an orthodontic assistant. I got my um, certification through Dr. Teacher. I got all of these continuing educations through Dr. Teacher. I, you know, at one point I was um, assistant lead um, assistant. <laughs> Um, I, I, you know, I did all kinds of things. I did ordering, I did stocking, I did, you know, patient care, I did records, I did, um, arch wire changes. I did so many different things with this orthodontist. I did laser, um, which since, um, that practice I haven't done since, um, I've done so many cool things. I went to, um, so many different conferences and so many different like things. I learned so much with the first orthodontist I worked for and for that I am truly, truly grateful. And so for anybody who is interested in this field, I would say, because I did do dental assisting school, you don't have to go to dental assisting school. All you need to do is really find a orthodontist or dentist to train you because there are some out there that will train you and teach you. And I wish I would have known that instead of being in all of this, um, you know, debt from dental assisting school. Um, but I just wanted to make sure it was something that I wanted to do and that's why I pursued dental assisting school and got through it and and realized that I love, you know, orthodontics is what I want to do. A lot of times assistants will, sorry, I'm so thirsty. A lot of times assistants will go through general dentistry, they'll do, um, They'll do perio, they'll do pedo, they'll do different, different, um, I want to say different specialties in dental. For me, I went straight into ortho. I was an orthodontic patient and became an assistant. And here I am years later and I'm still doing what I love. You know, even, you know, at one point I became a stay at home mom. Look what I'm doing now. I'm 
back to being um, a working mom and I'm excited. So if you guys have any questions, if you guys want more videos like this, please comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to um, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.